After 10 years of drought on the Bellarine Peninsula, in fact, the whole region, as soon as the first sign of rain came, there was the fear of being flooded out. Some of our senior citizens who've been flooded several times over the past 18 months, two years, and uh, with all the development in the area, we really uh, had a sharp increase in the amount of stormwater flow through, particularly here in Drysdale. Having this new project that uh, Jado are undertaking now is going to be a terrific advantage. And that means 33 families that will be quite safe when it rains quite heavily and this is the reason we spend the council spending so much money to make this thing work. The scale of the project is 1.2 kilometres of pipeline consisting mainly of 1,500 diameter and 1,350 pipes down to 1,200 and a small portion of 1,800s. In certain sections, the depth of the project being up to 7.3 metres posed uh, quite a few challenges. Because we're in the road reserve, we've got a lot of excavated material coming out uh, to load into truck and trailers. And then we've got bedding sand get back in, plus first rock, and then just all compaction. Before the project started, uh, Connor, Dirk and a few others put a lot of work into putting the job into sections so that we could minimise impact. We've got two crews working, one being the laying crew and one being the follow-up crew. The follow-up crew takes care of all the backfill compaction. We try and keep that really tight together so at the end of the day when we finish, we've got a nice close working area. Key factors with building a pipeline in an urban environment is obviously not firstly notification to everybody involved, all the stakeholders, residents. There's regular pamphlets handed out to say when owners will be impacted so they get plenty of advance warning. From that stage we then we start ordering materials, pipe supply and pits, then we mobilise the site. Uh, firstly we get our traffic management plans approved, then we can start excavating material. We were six metres deep going through the shopping district and we led, a, we led 23 pipes in one day which was a fantastic achievement for the crew and for everybody involved so it helped us to minimise disruption to the shop owners. Our collaborative relationship with uh, Geelong City Council and Ron Hill has been imperative to the success of the project. Rather than just being handed a set of plans. Geelong City Council have come on board and are working with us the whole way, trying to uh, change things to make things easier. Communications have all been good. Personnel from JDO all know what they're doing and very skilled at their works, which makes life easier for everyone. From what I've seen, it's really been flying along. Contractors have done a terrific job, well managed. Ron Hill, the engineer, has done a terrific job in conjunction with JDO. And I think at this point we're ahead of schedule, so uh, from a city council point of view, as a local council, I'm really pleased that uh, it's, it's been going so well and so timely.